All right, let's talk about an open Y, open delta connection. So let's start on our primary side. And the first thing with this uh, open Y primary connection is take your H2 bushings, and you tie them together, and then tie it to ground. Now with the H1 bushings, um, you only need to utilize two phases. So let's just utilize, we're going to go to B phase and to C phase. And it really doesn't matter. It just depends on um, what your engineering department uh, wants, wants uh, which, whichever phases they want you to use. So you could just as easily go to A phase instead of B phase here. Um, it doesn't matter. It just depends on what they're looking for. So this is the, the primary Y connection. Your H2 bushings are tied together and then tied to ground and then you utilize just two of the phases. We use C phase and B phase. And that's our primary connection. Okay, let's move on to the secondary connection. So on the secondary side, we're only going to utilize one X2 bushing as our neutral. So we're going to take it to ground and we're going to do it on the center transformer. Label is our neutral. So there's our neutral. Um, now what we need to do is uh, I need to tie the X1 bushing to the X3 bushing. Once you've done that, now we can just run our hot legs down. Off the center phase is going to be our hot legs. And there's, you got your two hot legs. I'll label them H. Your hot legs are going to be off the transformer that the neutral is used on. So since we uh, grounded the X2 and our neutrals on the center transformer, this is where our hot legs are going to be. This other connection right over here off this transformer, this is going to be your power leg. It's your power leg because it's one and a half coils from the neutral. So we got one full secondary coil there and then another half of a secondary coil there. So it's one and a half coils away from the neutral. That's how you know which one is your power leg. The reason why that's important is predominantly um, the, an open bank is used where you have a, a single phase load that's the primary load but then you also need some three phase power. That single phase load which uh, usually is like a home you want to make sure and use the two hot legs in the neutral for that home. You do not want to run the power leg to the home because then you'll be sending too much voltage into the home and you could burn up the electronics um, like TVs, computers, things of that sort. So you want to make sure that you identify what your power leg is and only use the power leg for the three phase load. For the single phase load you want to utilize your two hot legs in the neutral. Um, one thing with an open bank, it's 57.7% as efficient as a, as a closed bank where you have three transformers. Um, but it is very useful when you have a, a load where it's predominantly a single phase load, but you also need a three phase load. Now this particular connection right here, if you look, we've got the H2 bushings connected together, and then on the bottom side, um, we've got the, the X1, is connected to the X3. So this type of connection in this open Y open delta bank, it's called the, the same oops, the same opposite connection. Let's see if I can get it to right here. Make that look more like an I. So the same opposite. Reason why? Your primary side is the same. You're using the H2's connected together. Those are the same. Your secondary side is opposite because you've taken an X1 and connected to an X3. It's called the same opposite connection. Alright guys, that's it for, uh, for this open Y open delta bank with the same opposite connection.